hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of delicious cooking yes today i'll be showing you guys how i make my delicious simple banana bread so stay tuned guys Alright guys, the first thing that we'll have to do is to grease the baking pan. So this is my regular uh, bread loaf, but I'm just going to be using this for this bread. And uh, I'll go ahead and grease that up with some butter. If you want, you can use some cooking spray to spray all over inside the pan. And I'll also be using my regular um open pan bread loaf so this one doesn't have any lid and the other one has a lid so after greasing both of them i'll put them aside and here we're gonna go ahead and mix up the ingredients for the banana bread so i'll be using about two cups of all-purpose flour And I'll add in some salt, a pinch of salt, and a quarter cup of sugar. And I'm adding nutmeg. So this is optional. I like the flavor of nutmeg, so that's why I use it a lot when I'm baking. I use nutmeg a lot, but you don't have to. So I'll go ahead and mix up all the dry ingredients together. And to that, I'll be adding some eggs. So this gives this uh, banana bread a little bit moisture, like it makes it more soft. And to that, I'll be adding one um, melted butter. No, it was on the room temperature for a while. So I also added one cup of skin milk. So the butter was out in the counter for about two to three hours. So I needed a little bit more um, milk, so I added another half cup of milk. So I'll go ahead and blend that up with my hand mixer. So once everything is well combined, just the way it is right now, So it's looking very smooth right now. So I'll go ahead and set that aside. And the next is my banana. I'm using five large, like this is like the large banana, as large as it can be. So after peeling them off, I'll go ahead and mash them with my mashed potato masher. So it's way easier when I do this with the mashed potato masher. So once I'm done with the mashed potato masher, I'll go ahead and take that out and I use my fork to see if there is any extra lumps that I need to crush. But I don't want this to be completely crushed. So at this point, I think I've gotten enough consistency that I want. So I'll go ahead and return my mixture, my dry mixture together, the milk and everything. I'll go ahead and add the the mashed banana in there so I'll go ahead and mix this up like folding it up I will use the folding method like you don't want to over mix this stuff so once they are well combined like like I say you don't want to like keep mixing until all the bananas get crushed out no so I'll go ahead and pour this in my pan so this can easily go in this pan, all of them can go inside a pan, one pan together. That will make the bread to rise to the top, but I don't want to do that because I want to like make another one in a different pan, adding a little bit of uh, raisin, yeah, I like raisin. So this is for me in case, I don't know if my kids, they are not really a very big 
story about the noise they are not really a very big fan of raisin so that's why i decided to divide the mixture into two parts so i can have the one with the raisin and the one without the raisin in case they don't want the raisin one they can still have the other one to eat so guys i'll go ahead and pour in my loaf my mixture inside the bread loaf and i'll go ahead and top it up again yeah i'll go ahead and top this up again with extra raisin yeah that's how crazy i, I love raisin so much so after adding that up i'll go ahead and cover this with the lead the lid <laughs> go ahead and cover that up and i'll put that in my oven to bake for about an hour so but what i did after 45 minutes the one that has the lid on it i took off the lid and have it bake for extra 15 minutes so the front can get dry a little bit because you don't want it to be wet so i'll go ahead and bring this out from the oven and put them in my in my um, chopping board so look at it it's still very soft because it's piping hot this is very very hot my hands we are burning so that is well done and it's looking very nice and the one that i baked in there look at that look at those raisins looking so nice so i'll go ahead and flip that over like i said it's very very hot and very soft at this point so that's it guys so i'll go ahead and let this sit for maybe an hour before i can cut them so guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys on my next video stay blessed and stay safe bye bye